to the contrary, no carried. Uh, item number 17 was consideration of extraordinary business, and there was no extraordinary business. So I once again congratulate our maiden members uh, on having given their speeches. Uh, that includes Shane as a maiden. Um, not sure how that description fits, but uh, uh, great speeches, and thank councillors for um, getting through the agenda today. Oh, uh, I declare the meeting closed. Uh, just uh, about just to declare the meeting closed, <laughs> Councillor Fletcher. Um, I don't, I don't want to in any way uh, take away the, the importance of what you've just said in terms of the magnificent speeches, maiden speeches that we've heard today. But I wondered, in terms of extraordinary business, um, at what point you might come back to us formally as a governing body on the implications of the fire at Sky City, because that has raised a whole range of issues for us yep. in planning sets going forward. Um, was was it your I, I, look, intention? I'd be very, very happy to do that at the next meeting. Um, uh, we can probably put it on the agenda, uh, actually, rather than just have it as extraordinary business. Uh, so a report, um, which I'm happy to contribute to, having been involved in um, uh, how the matter was handled, but I think we should get a report from um, our, um, our civil defence uh, team that worked all the way through that process on how that matter was handled, and we might need to build into that uh, a report on whether there, it might be premature, but whether from Fire and Emergency New Zealand there are lessons that we can learn from how they had to cope with what they told me was the most difficult, the most complex and the hardest fire that they'd had to fight. So um, if I can um, refer that to the Chief Executive and we'll, we'll put that item, I think it's a good point, I thought about that during this meeting about where it might be appropriate to discuss it, but next week would be, uh, would be a fine time to discuss that. Okay, thank you very much for that and declare the meeting closed.